Hello everyone, welcome to the Unacademy Ascend channel. So this Unacademy Ascend channel is basically a dedicated channel for four main topics or for three main topics which includes the general science, the engineering aptitude or the general aptitude as well as the engineering mathematics. So you guys will be finding various educators taking various lectures on these three particular topics on this dedicated channel Unacademy Ascend. So also in this channel I will be handling the general aptitude section and daily I will be uploading three practice questions on various topics of general aptitude. So general aptitude is divided into various topics, verbal ability, reasoning, numerical ability and quantitative aptitude. So on all these topics, I will be taking one topic in brief and I'll be discussing three questions daily in this topic and that is in the particular general aptitude topic. So let us move forward to the topic. So numerical ability, it is one of the greatest means it is one of the most important topics in general aptitude. In numerical ability, we have a lots of topics. We have lots of topics in numerical ability in that I will be taking the ratio and proportion topic at the first point. Okay, so there will be three parts in each topic which I'll be taking in uh, all the topics of aptitude. So I will be explaining three questions daily. One question will be of the easier domain other one of the moderate domain and other one of the difficult domain okay so let's start with our lecture so here is the first question the ratio of father's age to the son's age is 4 is to 1 the product of their ages is 196 the ratio of their ages after 5 years will be dash they have given you guys four options here so what is the question basically let's try to understand it they have given the ratio of father and son's age. So that is basically in the ratio of 4 is to 1. The product of their age. Product ka matlab kya hai? What does product mean? Product means multiplication. Right? Product means multiplication. So when you add father into son, you will get the age as 196. You will get the product as 196. So after finding out this one, after isko find out karne ke baad, you have to find out the ratio of their ages after five years first you will be finding out this part then you will add plus five to both the ages of father and son and find out their ratio after five years okay four options are given we won't concentrate much on the options now we will directly move on to solve this solution okay we'll directly move on to solve the solution let the age of the father be 4x let the age of the son be x what is given in the question they have told that 4x into x is equal to 196 right so i can term this as 4x square right i can write it this as 4x square you guys know that x square is equal to 196 divided by 4 i can do this so what is 196 divided by 4 it is 49 so let me take the square root of 49 because the square will come this side x is equal to square root of 49 which is 7 so the value of x will be 7 what is x it is the age of the sun so age of the son will be 7 years. So age of the father will be 4 into 7. That is 28 years. What they have asked in the question? After 5 years. After 5 years. So how shall I find it out? So it is 28 plus 5 which is equal to 33. And 7 plus 5 which is equal to 12. Let us write down the ages here. 33 is to 12. So you can clearly see the similarities. 3 elevens are 33 and 3 fours are 12. Right? 3 elevens are 33. <coughs> Sorry. And 3 fours are 12. So here is the first answer. So it is actually 11 is to 4. Option C is the correct answer for this question. Let us move on to the next one now. Right? Question number 2. The income of Shailesh, Ramesh and Dinesh are in the ratio 7 is to 9 is to 12 and their expenditures are in the ratio 8 is to 9 is to 15. If a person saves 1 by 4 of his income, find the ratio of savings of Shailesh, Ramesh and Dinesh. Right? The four options are given again. Let's not concentrate much on the options. Let's solve this question. Before solving the question, let's understand what this is. They have given the income, right? Income matlab kya hai? Jitna salary milta hai. Usko income bolte, right? They have given the income of three persons, Shailesh, Ramesh and Dinesh. So, unko itna salary mil raha hai, 7 is to 9 is to 12. 
और इतना सैलरी में से वो इतना स्पेंड कर रहे हैं एक्सपेंडिचर का मतलब क्या है व्हेन यू बाय समथिंग व्हेन यू बाय अ मोबाइल यू विल बी स्पेंडिंग सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सपेंडिचर राइट देयर एक्सपेंडिचर रेशियोस आर 8 इज टू 9 इज टू 15 ये करने के बाद उनके पास जितना बचता है 1 बाय 4 ऑफ द इनकम सो बेसिकली शैलेश हिज इनकम इज 7 सो 1 बाय 4 ऑफ 7 विल बी हिज सेविंग्स राइट 1 बाय 4 ऑफ 7 विल बी सेविंग्स सिमिलरली इट विल बी विद रमेश एंड दिनेश राइट सिमिलरली इट विल बी Ramesh and Dinesh. We have to cumulatively solve this and find out the ratio of savings of Shailesh, Ramesh and Dinesh. Let's solve the question. Okay. Let me name these three people as S, R and D. Okay. Shailesh, Ramesh and Dinesh. S, R, D. The ratios are 7 is to 9 is to 12. Right. So, income ka ratio mein likh lunga, which is 7x is to 9x is to 12x. Right. Then I will take the expenditure into reference. I'll take the expenditure into reference. So if you go back, expenditure is 8 is to 9 is to 15, right? So let me write it as 8y is to 9y is to 15. So let me take Shailesh's income and expenditure into reference. We know clearly that income minus expenditure is equal to savings, right? We know this clearly. Income, jo salary milta hai, usme se jitna aap spend karte ho, usko aap nikal hoge, to aapka apna savings mil jayega. They have told that 1 by 4th of the income is their savings. So let me take the income and expenditure of Shailesh. So S equals 7x minus 8y is equal to 1 by 4 of 7x. Right? 1 by 4 of the income, the income is 7x. 7x minus 8y is equal to 1 by 4 of 7x. So I can write this 7x minus 8y is equal to 7 by 4x. Okay. So can I solve for 8y here? Right? I can easily solve for 8y and from that I can easily solve for 8. Okay, from that I can easily solve for 8. So y will be equal to 21 divided by 32x. Right? 7 4s are 28, 28 minus 7, 21, 8 4s are 32. So I got the value of y as 21 by 32x. Okay, let's substitute this value of y in a Ramesh and Dinesh. Okay, so Ramesh will be what is Ramesh's income? 9x minus 9y. Right, 9x minus 9y is equal to 1 by 4 of 9x. You know the value of y here, right? You know the value of y. Substituting y as 21 by 3 to x, okay? Substituting y as 21 by 3 to x. Substitute this, formulate the value of Ramesh. It will be equal to 99 by 32x. It will be equal to 99 by 32x. Similarly, take Dinesh into reference now. Dinesh is 12x minus 15y is equal to 1 by 4 of 12x. Substitute y as 21 by 32. Solve the equation. You will get the value of Dinesh. Right? You will get the savings of Dinesh as 69 by 32x. Right? 69 by 32x. What is the savings of uh, Shailesh? It is 7 by 4. So let me write it down here. S is to R is to D which is 7 by 4 is to 99 by 32 is to 69 by 32, right? Is to 69 by 32. So what should I do here, right? What should I do here? You can see that 4 and 32, it divides by 8, right? 4 8s are 32. So 7 into 8, what is 7 8s are? 7 8s are it is 56. 56 by 32 is to 99 by 32 is to 69 by 32. 32, 32, 32 gets cancelled. What will be their ratio? The ratio is 56 is to 99 is to 69. Go back to the options. 56 is to 99 is to 69. Option A is the correct answer. Let us move on to the last question of the daily practice problems. The cost of an article was three times the value of the raw materials used. Okay. So cost of an article is three times the value of raw material used. And the raw materials, you guys know that the raw materials, it will include everything, right? The raw materials, what will it include? It will include the wages plus raw materials, right? Wages, matlab, aapko ek raw material banane ke liye, you have to pay it. Right? You have to pay the person. You have to pay the person. Worker ko pay karna hai, right? So raw materials, I can consider it as wages plus raw materials, right? So the cost of the raw materials increased in the ratio 3 is to 7 and wages increased in the ratio 4 is to 9. Find the present cost of the article if its original cost was 36 rupees, right? 
find the present cost of the article if its original cost was 36 rupees right so uh, let me write it down here cost of the article is to cost of the raw material right value of the raw material what they have given it is a three times right three times so i can write it as three is to one right i can write it as three is to one so let's solve this question so ratio of cost of article is to ratio of cost of raw material is equal to three is to one right three is to one so go back what is the original cost given as what is the original cost given as it is given as 36 rupees right it is given as 36 rupees 36 rupees is the original cost of the article so you know that the cost of the article is 3 is to 1 okay cost of the article is 3 is to 1 so what will be the cost of the raw material here one part of 36 so if you divide three parts of 36 you will get it as 12 12 and 12 right 12 threes are 36 so the cost of raw material is equal to 12 and what will be the wages what will be the cost of wages the remaining right 12 minus 36 which is 24 right 36 minus 12 which is 24 so this will be the cost of raw material and the wages what they have given go back to the question what they have given the raw materials are increased in the ratio 3 is to 7 wages are increased in the ratio 4 is to 9 right wages are increased in the ratio 4 is to 9 so let me first take 3 is to 7 what is the total ratio here it is 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 right so 3 4s are 12 7 4s are 28 this will be the first ratio right 12 is to 28 okay so i can take it as the cost of the raw material right 12 is to 28 what is the cost of the wages cost of the wages is 4 is to 9 right cost of the wages is 4 is to 9 if you see it clearly here the cost of the raw material right and cost of the wages i can easily tell 12 equals 2 is to 12 right it is a twice of that of that so here i am calculating what 3 plus 1 4 but you can see 3 is the cost of the material so it will be into 2 right 4 6 za, right 9 6 za. so 4 6 za is 24 9 6 za is how much 9 5 za 45 9 6 za 54 this will be my 2 so this is what is the raw materials and wages so we know that raw material plus wages is equal to the new cost okay raw material will be equal to 28 54 is the wages you can see this is the new cost okay 28 plus 54 which is equal to 82 right which is equal to 82 go back to the solution option b 82 is the right answer so those were the three problems of the daily practice series I thank you all for listening throughout the lesson. Uh, please do subscribe to our dedicated channel for aptitude and engineering mathematics which goes by the name Unacademy SN where you guys can access all the daily practice problems which I will be uploading at a frequent time. Thank you guys for listening throughout the lesson.